Hey there, everypony! I am Heartsy Artsy, and today I'm going to be talking about one of the most hated upon and underappreciated characters in the entire show of My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. I'm not talking about Flash Sentry, not even Snips and Snails, not even Diamond Tiara and Silver Spoon. No, I'm talking about Spike. It's time to delve into his character and discover why he's actually worth rooting for. Spike, in my opinion, is handled almost like Fluttershy. Their characters have similar problems even though their personalities are totally different. For Fluttershy struggles with her shyness, nerves, and fears, Spike struggles with his insecurities, self-doubt, and not even fully knowing who he even is. Both characters often get hate for having to learn the same lessons over and over and over again. Well, I'm here to tell you something right now. I can majorly relate to both of these characters as well as Princess Luna. I am often a shy, nervous, and sometimes insecure person who really likes knowing people appreciate what I do even though I know that what I do is good. I know a lot of people and friends who are exactly the same way. I've come a really, really long way in tackling these problems and feeling more outgoing and confident, and these videos have helped a lot. But I'm here to tell you first hoof that these problems are not something that can just go away after you learn a solution one time. It's just not realistic. Your mind can often get the best of you and fear and doubt takes control and you can't stop it easily. Just like Nightmare Moon. You feel trapped and alone and crazy like nobody even understands you. Imagine how that feels. That's where good friends and family come in to help you realize that a lot of your problems are just in your mind and overthinking is the true monster at hand. This still doesn't stop the thoughts and doubts from reoccurring and popping up every now and again though. Take for example, Power Ponies. Spike is constantly around six ponies who always save the day with the one exception where he saved the day in Return of the Crystal Empire. He's always on the sidelines, wanting to help but he doesn't really feel like he's needed. Who would need him when the other main six are around, right? Thoughts like that chew on your brain, clouding your subconscious with an inescapable smoke. And that's not very fun. Even when the main six enter the comic book world with Spike, Spike is stuck as the sidekick in the butt of jokes. He does end up saving the day, do 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 do, but rest assured that these doubts will come back. Like in the episode Equestria Games, which is probably one of the best Spike episodes in the whole show. Spike has to handle stage fright when he's lighting the torch at the opening ceremony at the games, and Twilight has to light up for him because he gets so nervous. When he learns the truth, he's devastated and feels like he can't do anything right. He tries to prove himself again and again by damaging the ears in every pony of Equestria and singing the Cloudsdale National Anthem. Yeah, let's just say it didn't go very well. When the time comes for him to save the day again, he doesn't see it as special because it's just something that he reacted to naturally. No big deal, right? The lesson here really resonates with a lot of people in this fandom because a lot of people feel the exact same way. No matter how much praise you get from other ponies, you'll only truly see it in yourself if you believe in yourself and your abilities. When you really think about it, almost, if not all of Spike's episodes are about him trying to prove himself. Dragon Quest, Owl's Well at Ends Well, Power Ponies, Equestria Games, even Spike at your service. Yeah. I said it! Spike at your frickin' service can help prove my point. Imagine that! One of the most hated episodes in the entire show can be effective here for once. All Spike really wants to do is help, but he's often pushed to the side when the main conflict starts. Imagine what that can do to your confidence. Imagine if your friends push you to the side when all you wanted to do was try to help them. That plus having a crush on somebody who will probably never love him back romantically. Yikes. I think another problem is that a lot of people forget that Spike is a child. He's a baby dragon. He's still trying to figure out who he is and literally where he came from. Twilight hatched him from an egg, so he literally has no idea where he's come from. When you think about it, Spike is similar to a blank flank pony in a sort of weird sense. Sure, he's Twilight's assistant and help him send letters, but is that really a special talent? People give him so much flack when he's still just a kid that they often forget his good qualities. Spike is an excellent assistant and friend to Twilight in the main five. He can talk Twilight out of her craziest rants and offer snarky, sarcastic, and witty advice. He is playful, smart, has baking and organizational skills, and is cute with a knack for trouble and a bit of a jealous side. He is multi-layered and diverse, like all of the characters in MLP. People need to have a bit more respect for the mental struggles both he and Fluttershy have to deal with. It's not as easy as you think, believe me. As Fluttershy even said, baby steps are the way to go. Sometimes you have to learn the same lesson over and over again in different ways, if for certain situations, because if you don't, then you'll never learn, and you'll never be able to grow. It's really, really hard to believe in yourself or be assertive if you feel that nobody will listen to you or if you don't have the skills to do something after failing. 
Everyone faces their own inner demons at one point or another. Killing them for good is something everyone has to face alone, but friends are always there to help every step of the way. Support from friends and loved ones helped immensely, and we all know what good friend Spike has, when they're not using him as the butt of jokes. Friendship is magic after all! I'd love to see more of Spike in his journey in Season 5 and or 6. It would be super interesting if he grew into an adult or teenage dragon naturally, without the influence of greed. What kind of great dragon can he become? The possibilities are endless. I'm going to root for characters like he and Fluttershy and Luna who struggle with these problems. They're all strong, capable characters with a lot of room to grow. I hope you can get some insight from this video and see Spike as a good character who's trying to be the best he can be. What do you think Spike's journey will hold firm next? What would you like to see from his character? What other characters do you want to see more development from? If you'd like some more videos like this, I'm open to any and all discussions, suggestions, and collabs like always. Until next time, I am HeartsyRT and thanks for watching!